Listen up, Chisel Cheeks. I have no idea what Clyde Weston is talking about. I've never even met the guy. It's interesting because he says that you two are partners in a fencing operation. I'm sorry, fencing? You mean like swordplay? No, as in the crime of buying and reselling stolen merchandise. He said that you were in possession of a bag of jewelry that you were just looking to unload. Jewelry that belonged to Abigail. As I said, I've never even met the guy, let alone conspired with him to sell stolen goods. Okay, why would he lie? I don't know. He's, he's out on parole. Maybe he doesn't want to spend the rest of his life in prison. No, Clyde's got an airtight alibi. Well, then maybe he's afraid you could still find a way to pin this on him. Okay, so maybe that's true. Let's just say that it is. Can you tell me, why is it that he would want to pin this on you? Why you? Uh, his girlfriend put him up to it. Nancy? Yes. That pathetic woman hates me for stealing her husband. It's not the way that I heard it. I heard it was an epic fail on your part. Well, that's only because the losers in this town wouldn't mind their own business. But my breakup with Craig aside, Epic Nancy fail. still wants revenge against me. She blames me for breaking up her family. I hear that she and Clyde are very happy together. Oh, I'm so happy they found each other. But it doesn't change the fact that you're holding me here when all you have is the word of a spoiled brat and a career criminal whose bay despises me. You have no real evidence to back up these insane accusations. Not yet, but we're working on it. Okay.